Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Droidman.com and in this video, we will show you how to unlock the boot builder on your OnePlus device. But first, let me make you aware of the risk as well as the benefits of carrying out this process. So as soon as you unlock the boot builder, you will be able to flash custom ROMs, flash the stock firmware by extracting the payload broadband firmware. Apart from that, you could also root your device by patching and flashing the Magis boot image file. This in turn will allow you to flash various Magis modules, expose framework, custom kernels, substratum themes among others. But on the flip side, it has a few risks as well. First and foremost, it will factory reset your device and will delete all the data. Apart from that, it might nullify and void the warranty as well. So if that's well and good, then proceed ahead at your own risk. In the following steps, we will show you how to unlock the bootloader of your OnePlus device. So let's get started. First and foremost, I will recommend you take a backup of all the data. For that, go to the settings menu on your device. As you could see, just a minute, go to settings menu, then go to system settings, backup and reset, and take a backup my data. Once your data has been backed up, your first course of action is to download and install the Android SDK platform tools. The link for that has been given in the description. I have also made a video on the same. You could either read the guide or refer to the video. And once you download the platform tools, extract it anywhere on your PC. And once extracted, add it to your path. This is very important. You have to add this ADV platform tools to your path. I have also explained this in the video as well and given in the guide as well how you could add ADV to path. Once you have done so, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlock on your device. For that, go to the settings menu on your device. Then from settings, go to about device. Then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You should see you are now in developer mode. So go back, go again back, go to system settings and you should now see developer options. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking. Let me show you once. Enable. Once that is done, next up, enable the toggle next to USB debugging. It will ask for a prompt. Tap on OK. Now on your PC also you will get a prompt and then see your device. It's asking allow USB debugging. If it's your own PC, you can also check mark always allow from this computer and tap on allow. Now first and foremost, let's verify if the ADB connection has been established or not. For that, go to the platform tools folder and type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt with the platform tools directory itself. Once that is open, type in ADB devices and hit enter. As you could see, it's showing a device ID, which means that the connection has been established. So our next course of action is to boot the device to fast boot mode. Now for that, type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. As you could see, my device is now booting to the fast boot mode. Now comes the most important part. You will now have to install the fast boot drivers on your PC. For that, I have already written a guide and made a video as well. You have to download the passport drivers and install it using the instruction given here. Once you have installed, let me show you once. So for that, go to device manager and open it. Then if as of now, you could see my device is showing with a yellow exclamation mark. So it means that the password drivers are not installed. So let me show you how to install that. So first and foremost, let me download the drivers. Just a minute. You can opt for any server. Once it gets downloaded, you will have to extract this to anywhere on your PC. Let me extract it here itself. Extract all. Or let's take it to the desktop. It will be much easier to access. So just a minute, select desktop, select folder, and it will let's create a new folder as well. And let's name it USB or rather fast boot. Then hit extract. The driver files have now been extracted. Let me confirm once. As you could see, the drivers, the passport folder is right here. And 
these are the driver files out of this we need the android win usb file so let me you can also refer to the steps given in this notepad file it's in the driver itself if you want you can refer to this guide or refer to the video that i have shown you earlier this is the video through which you could install the fastboot drivers or just see the steps i am showing you now so go to device manager right click on your device and select update drivers then select dodge my computer for drivers then let me pick up from a list of drivers now I select the manufacturer and okay then click on have this you might not see this menu because you are doing the first time i have already installed drivers before so i am seeing this menu what you have to do is just click on have disk then go to browse and select the location where you have extracted the folders and the drivers it's in the my fastboot folder usb driver and just select android when usb file and click open then click ok and select android boot for interface this is very important after that click next it will now give you a warning click on yes and the drivers have now been installed it has been installed now so close this dialog box and as you could see my device is now being shown as android boot for interface so it means it in the fastboot mode as you could see in the device as well as of now device it is logged this means that the boot is logged so let's now verify the password connection for that type in password devices and hit enter as you could see it is showing the serial id this means that the password connection has been established now all you have to do is just execute the following command password flashing unlock and hit enter you will now get a warning on your phone so use the volume keys to select unlock the boot loader and then press the power key to confirm the process will now start and it will take around a minute at the very max it will now first wipe all the data from your device and then subsequently unlock the boot brother as you could see the device is being wiped the ui you are seeing in chinese i guess it's because of the color os integration into the oneplus i'll make a separate video on that let's now focus on the boot loader aspect itself so the process is going on and true to my knowledge as of now it's factory resetting the device after that i will show you how to verify if the process has been successful or not so the device is now rebooting and it should take only a couple of seconds and once the process gets completed we will double verify that the process in fact has unlocked the boot folder for that there exists a single line of command that you could use or much better you could easily verify the same from the fastboot screen itself we will show you both these methods as of now it's currently booting so you won't be able to access it and please don't interact with the device in this mode so the device has in fact booted to the os itself rather than booting the fastboot mode so as soon as you select the unlock the boot loader option the device will in fact boot to the os and it will the first boot will take some time this is completely normal because it has reset the device so setting up the device for the first time will take some time we should not worry about that and with that the process has been completed i will request you to wait for a minute or two let the device boot up then we will again boot to fastboot mode and i will show you the message but the process has been completed and if you want you could close this video here itself but i will recommend you to wait for a minute and check out the result the first boot usually takes around a minute or two so let's wait while the boot animation is going on and yes after the unlocking is done you could also change this boot animation but for me this is the best boot animation oneplus have still and i hope that they don't end up removing this because as you might be aware there exists a easter egg in the oneplus calculator when you hit one plus and press equals to you get a message never settled but with android 12 and android 13 onwards this has been removed anyways coming back to our focus it's you should get a prompt uh, start agree agree you could skip this process if you want let's set up offline continue you could do so when the device boots up as well you can do at that instant and next it will now ask for the google services i am skipping all the steps right now 
but you should if you want you could add it right here or when the device boots up applying the fonts has been applied okay next done start so the setup has been completed let me first of all increase the display size so that it becomes easier to view display and wipe so first and foremost dark mode and now let me increase the font size to the largest available apply now you might have to enable usb debugging once again in some cases as you could see it has been disabled so let me go to the about device section go to version and tap on build number seven times as you could see you are now in developer mode so go back go to system settings then you should see developer option go there and you could see the OEM unlocking is showing boot filter is unlocked. So this is verified that the process has been completed successfully. You could also use this via one another method. Let me show you to by booting the device to fast boot mode. You could also do so. First and foremost, let's verify the ADB device command. So the device is not being recognized, not an issue. Let me re-verify the connection by closing and enabling the USB debugging mode. And it should not recognize the device. Okay, it's still not recognizing. Then I'll have to unplug and replug the device. Just a minute. Transfer auto. And you will get a prompt tap on always allow if it's your own PC. And then click on allow. Let's now verify ADB devices. Yes, the device has not been recognized. So once that is done, if you do not get that prompt, you could also type in revoke USB debug authorization and then set up your device once again. That's not an issue. Anyways, moving on, let's now boot the device to fast boot mode and let me show you that the unlocking has is successful. It should only take a couple of seconds for the device to boot in fast boot mode. As you could see, device has been booted and now the device states states unlocked. This means that your bootloader has been unlocked and the process stands complete. So guys, this was all from this video on how you could unlock the bootloader on your OnePlus device. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope if you have any queries, please you could let us know in the comments and please like and subscribe to this channel for more. And as you could see, you could now reboot a device to the OS by using the fastboot reboot command. You could also do so via manually via the power key, but it's better if you do so via the command prompt because it's easy to deal with. So on that note, let me show you once the device boots up as well. So that the process, yes, as you could see, everything's well and good. And guys, on that note, I round off this video. All your queries are welcome in the comment section. Thanks for watching.